your camera doesn't really matter. In this video, I'm gonna give you five steps to help you improve your photography this year. Are you serious about taking your photographs to a new level? If yes, let's get started. Hi, my name is Sean Gallagher. I'm a professional photographer and filmmaker. And for those new to my channel, I've been working as a photographer for nearly 20 years, producing work for clients such as National Geographic, the Pulitzer Center, and The Guardian. Here on my channel, I want to share with you my professional knowledge and experience to help you improve your photography. Whether you're a beginner photographer, a serious amateur, or even an aspiring professional. In this video, I'm gonna share with you five simple steps to help you really improve your photography this year and take your photographs to a new level. Okay, let's get started. Now this first tip may be difficult for some of you to hear. Your camera doesn't matter. Whatever camera that you're using, whether it's in a cheap camera or an expensive one. Actually, the equipment doesn't really make you a better photographer. The quality of your photographs depends on one thing, and that's you, not the camera. I see this a lot, especially amongst amateur photographers, this almost obsession with gear, the latest lens, the latest camera body, the latest piece of equipment that the manufacturers promise will make your photographs better. When actually, the one thing that makes things better is by improving your skills as a photographer. It's not the camera itself. And I don't want equipment to be a factor that holds you back from fulfilling your potential as a photographer. The secret to improving your photography this year is to forget about the gear. I don't care if you take pictures with a cell phone or a high-end camera. That's not what's important. What is important is your vision of the world and understanding the building blocks of great photography, which I'm gonna discuss in the next step. I'm a completely self-taught photographer. I didn't study photography formally, but when I started my career, I started to teach myself everything about photography. And one of the first things that I learned was to focus on the fundamentals of photography. It doesn't take long actually to figure out some of the basic technical aspects of photography, like aperture, shutter speed, but the secret to becoming a better photographer is actually to focus on the fundamentals of photography the building blocks of the art. And those are light, color, composition, and moments. I'm gonna be doing a deep dive into all four of these in some of my later videos here on my channel. But today, I'm gonna to focus on the first one, which is arguably the most important, and that's light. When was the last time you truly thought about light? I want you to do something. Stop and look around you. Look at the light. Where is it coming from? Is it from the sun or from an artificial light? Is it a hard light or is it soft? What's the tone? Professional photographers are obsessed with lights and you should be too. When you're next out taking photos, I want you to study and think about the light in that situation where you find yourself. Just the act of thinking about the light will increase your understanding of photography and help you appreciate the different kinds of light that we see every day in our world. So once you've started to think more about the fundamentals of photography, I want you to start getting inspired by the work of other photographers. You need to look at the work of professional photographers to try to get inspiration and ideas about how professionals use light, color, composition, and moments. And hopefully it will inspire you to do the same. One of my favorite photographers is Sebastio Salgado. He's a Brazilian photographer that also photographs environmental issues. He's a black and white photographer and I absolutely love his work. His use of light and shadows and compositions and also the topics that he covers. They're really inspirational to me. So find work that inspires you. Study the work of other photographers. Pick up a book and look at the images and think about how the photographer took them. Try to put yourself in the shoes of that photographer and think, why did they take that photo? What were they thinking when they pressed the shutter? How were they thinking about light? 
Where were they positioned? All of these little thought experiments can help you as a photographer and help you develop your skills and maybe use some of those ideas to improve your own photography. Once you've started to think about the fundamentals of photography and you've got inspired, then you need to go out and start taking pictures. But I don't want you to just go out and start taking random photos. This year, I want you to start to think about working on a photo project or a photo story. Now, what do I mean by a photo project or a photo story, or as us professionals, we call them photo essays. These tend to focus around a single theme or a single subject. Now, this might be something as simple as making a portrait series of people who live on your street, or making a little photo essay about one of your favorite places where you live, perhaps a park or a certain area. The benefit of focusing on just one topic is that it gives your photography focus and attention. You're not just out there taking random photos of things. You're specifically focusing on trying to tell a story. Pick a subject or an area or a story that you love or that you're really interested in. Choose somewhere close by so it's easy for you to work on whenever you have free time. By focusing on just one thing this year, it will elevate your photography as you think of different ways to use the fundamentals of photography to tell your story in new and interesting ways. The final step to improving your photography this year is to get constructive feedback. Now, constructive feedback is in the form of opinions from people that you trust. Now, this doesn't mean going to your mum, your spouse, or even those close loved ones who love your photography. We all need those people in our lives, but if you really want constructive feedback, you've got to go to other people within the industry, within your hobby, to get their feedback. So this might include other photographers in your local area. It might be other professionals in your area, perhaps photographers who are working locally, or perhaps photographers who are holding workshops in your local area, who you can actually take your photographs to and get their opinion. Now, it may be scary or intimidating to go to other people, especially other photographers, maybe a professional photographer, to get their feedback about your work but it's really important to show your work to other people and get constructive feedback. If you've made it this far in the video, I'd like to invite you to join my online communities where you can actually get feedback on your photographs. I have a community on WhatsApp and I have one on WeChat. You can scan either of these codes to join the groups. And in these groups, we discuss photography and if they want, I provide my constructive feedback to the group's members on their photographs. It's a great way to join a constructive and helpful community that actually just wants to help you improve your photographs. In summary, don't let your equipment hold you back. Focus on those fundamentals of photography. Get inspired by the work of other photographers. Go and work on a photo story this year and get constructive feedback on your projects. If you follow these five steps, they will help you improve your photography this year, I promise. Remember, improvement doesn't happen overnight. Even if you find just five or 10 minutes every day to focus on thinking about photography and thinking about some of the things that we've covered in this video today, it will improve your photography over time. Thank you for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video.